everyone. Welcome. My name's Lisa. Well, today, as you've seen in the title, it's Mad, Sci Mad, Mad Scientist Mixing. So, what does that mean for me? Well, that means that when I have a foundation, because my skin, you know, we, we run across issues where we have a foundation, like I have my Milani. I like it. But there's just days I know it's a little bit too matte for me. I can tell it on my skin. So, and if I put that on, it's really going to almost like dry me out even more. But yet, it's not so dry that I can use the like a, a glowy foundation. So, what I do is I have this little glass mirror, candle mirror. Yeah, I was mixing today. Uh, what I do is on days like that is, is I take a like my Milani and do my full pump. All it takes is a pump of that. And I mix in a couple of drops of this, of the Infallible Pro Glow. I cannot wear this by itself no matter how dry I am. I don't like it. It's too glowy, too wet feeling. I've done that with like the Revlon 24 hour stay uh, foundation because it's too drying. Uh, I've tried it with the Maybelline Fit Me. I actually like the Maybelline Fit Me, except for these Fit Me foundations. They oxidize about six shades darker, and nothing has helped that. So, um, still trying to find a home for that. But, um, there's one, like this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I cannot, even with mixing in the Pro Glow, I can't use this thing. I don't. And if you've seen my review, which I'll list it here, I hated this thing. However, I turned around the other day and tried. Of course, we know I didn't like this either because it's too wet feeling. It feels like it's going to slide off my face. So I mixed 50 50 on these two. Now, did I get 12 hour wear out of it? No. I got six hours wear out of it looking pretty good uh which i wasn't getting much more than an hour or two out of this before so you know um yeah you know these two mixed together pretty good i liked it it was still a little wet feeling but it worked about like i can mix in the milani in it so don't be afraid to play the mad scientist and mix a little bit now, another thing I wanted to talk about is this Master Precise Conceal. I have it in Fair. It's a little bit light for me, but I've tried the next shade darker, and it's too dark for me. It's almost got like a yellowy undertone, orangey undertone. Don't like it. So, what I do is, is I make sure I mix enough of my foundation with it, and then I put a drop of this in with it because this stuff is potent. And mix that in, and that's what I use as my concealer. It lightens it up a little bit. Now, like my Milani Perfect 2 in 1 and the O2 Natural, it's a little bit dark, but it's not as yellow as the O1. So I do my one pump. If this is the only thing I want to wear, I don't want to add the Pro Glow to it. I take this here, my one pump, and I add just a little squeeze of this in with it. This is great for lightening up foundations of shade. So, um, I like it for that purpose. I'm on to my second one of this thing, and it's about empty. So, yeah, don't be afraid to mix. Let's see here. What else have I got that I've mixed? That's about it. I went and I did a, um, um, <laughs> thinned out my foundations starting trying to start fresh here now the flower foundation that i didn't like i still have i haven't found anything i like mixing with it yet um it, it this is just way too yellow for me so you know don't be afraid if you've got a foundation that's too dry and you've got one that's too wet don't be afraid to try and mix them 50 50 or you know, if it's just a tiny bit dry, just mix in a couple of drops of this. Because this here, two drops of this, with my Milani, I like. 
doesn't seem to affect the staying power or anything like that with it. So, yeah, and same thing with the concealer. I just, you know, pull a little bit of the foundation out, leave what's left, and mix a little concealer in with it to lighten, depending upon how you want to look at it, lighten the foundation for a concealer or darken the concealer. It doesn't take much. So, now, what I do want to say is I would like to get you guys to ask me questions because I want to do a chit chat, get ready with me, answer some questions. So, yeah, go ahead and ask me any questions that you like to ask. Now, uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell next to it, and uh, give me a thumbs up and let's see how many thumbs ups we can get on this video that you're game for this. Thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day. Bye.